Okay, this is section 4.1, examples 2. So it says, find the indefinite integral. And we've got two different problems here. Now notice there's multiple terms for each problem. So we're going to have um, to apply that rule number 5. So instead of separating it into each individual um, integration, I'm just going to integrate each um, problem separately. So... Um, this is what I'm saying. Instead of writing this out, usually we don't do that. We just go straight into it. So technically what you're doing is you're integrating each piece. But this line we don't usually write. We just start going into it. So if I want to integrate that, I'm going to apply the power rule. And normally later, we don't even write this part, this exponent write what it is. We don't write that we're going to add one. We just add one. Um, here you're going to have your constant multiplier and then one plus one over one plus one. And then here you're just going to have an x and then of course your constant of integration because I've applied all my integration rules. So here I get x to the five halves and instead of dividing by five halves I'm going to multiply by two fifths. Um, here I'm going to get 6x squared over 2, which these are going to simplify to give me a 3, and a 3x plus c. So my final answer is 2 fifths x to the 5 halves plus 3x squared plus 3x plus c. And this is the antiderivative or the indefinite integral of this function here inside the parentheses. Okay, notice that when you have multiple terms, you have to have parentheses in there so that you're telling the reader that you're actually taking the integral of all of these terms, okay? Notice when it's just one term, I don't necessarily need those parentheses, okay? So I just wanted to point that out that that's why sometimes you'll see parentheses and sometimes you won't. See here, I have multiple terms that I need to take the antiderivative of, which is why you do see the parentheses there. But as we said before in examples part one, you cannot take the integral of radicals when they're in their radical form. So you do have to convert this into their exponential form, which would be one third plus one third x to the negative one third and then dx. Okay, now why is this the way it is, right? Here there was no coefficient, so I have no coefficient. There is an exponent of 1, which is my numerator, and my radical, my index, is 3, which is my denominator. Here, my coefficient is actually 1 over 3, so I have to keep that the way it is. And here, my exponent is 1, which is why my numerator is 1, and my index is 3, which is why my denominator is 3. But because it was downstairs, it's actually a negative exponent, okay? And I still have to put it in parentheses <coughs> excuse me because I still need to integrate both terms so now let's go ahead and do that now I'm not going to write out this step where I'm separating everything okay I'm just going to start and I'm not going to write out this rule where I'm applying the power rule I'm just going to apply it this is how fast you need to be able to do these in the future so if I add 1 to this exponent I will get 4 thirds and if I divide by 4 thirds, it's the same as multiplying by 3 fourths. Here I have a constant multiplier in front, but if I add 1 to this exponent, I get 2 thirds, and if I multiply by its reciprocal, I get 3 over 2. And because I took the antiderivative, I do need to put my plus c constant. Well, this 3 reduces with this 3 in, the, in that term, so I end up with 1 over 2 x to the 2 thirds plus c. And as we discussed in examples part 1, if they gave us the problem with radicals, then they probably want our answer in radical form. Although sometimes, or most times, the computer will accept this as your answer. So just to be more formal, we'll do the third index, but x to the fourth exponent. Same thing here, the third index but an x squared exponent okay and you don't need to simplify this or anything like that you don't need to take out however many you can take out just leave it like that um, and that will be acceptable <clears throat>